Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And so today we're gonna to be taking a look at an e-bike from a company called Doremo. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Hey, what's going on guys? So I've been actually using this e-bike for a little bit of time now and wanted to share the unboxing. And so basically what comes in the box is the charging brick with the cable and the pedals. And you also get the digital monitor that controls mileage, overall distance, tracked, and also the speed. And it's really easy to assemble when you actually put on the front wheel because it comes with a levy and a screw attached so you can easily assemble it. And so after removing all the content that's out of the box, you're gonna be greeted with a warranty of up to two years. You're also gonna get reflectors and the screws needed to assemble the front wheel. And so it doesn't require any tools, so it's easy to put on just like the removable battery. And so it's gonna come with an electric battery. And so this is gonna be a fast charging battery, which is gonna get you about 45 miles to 60 miles depending on what your weight is and so i definitely think that it's going to last for a long period of time and so i thought this was going to be a pretty cool thing to check out because not only was the bike ergonomically designed it gives you the ability to free your hips as well as your spine with the adjustable seat and an adjustable handlebar and you also get the ability to use different speeds with the 21 gears from shimano so i was definitely looking forward to checking this thing out because it was going to go from 0 to 20 miles per hour in 10 seconds it goes at an incline of 15 degrees and it also does have a 350 watt Beifang motor that peaks at 500 watts. And so like I said, it was pretty easy to set up and it didn't take too much technical knowledge. And if this was your very first time setting up your e-bike for the first time, I definitely think it wouldn't have been a problem. And so a button on the bottom of the seat will actually fill up with air and you can actually release it. And so this is gonna be kind of cool for customizing the comfort. And so the pedals were easy to put on as well as the seat and handlebars. And so I definitely thought that the setup experience was pretty straightforward. And so the Shimano 21 speed with professional gears can actually be improving your overall experience when you're going through different terrain and trying to adjust your speed uphill or downhill while riding. One of the things that's gonna be pretty cool about the Shimano 21 speed is that you can slow down or speed up with ease. And so it's easy to actually shift gears when you're using the digital touchscreen because it comes with the ability to use five different speeds and you get the ability to track your mileage. Now the Aramo Monster 100 did weigh about 48.5 pounds and the max load capacity was 309 pounds. Now they do recommend that people from 4.9 to 5.7 actually use it, but I'm actually 6.1 and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Do me a quick solid. If you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it and rocking it with me. And I just wanna remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm, okay? But an estimated max range is that on this e-bike, you're gonna get about 45 miles with the pure electric mode and 60 miles with the pedal assist mode. So it was pretty easy to quickly accelerate with the throttle on the right handle. And so you can actually pedal or you can just use the throttle to actually get additional speed. And so when it comes to actually accelerating, you have five different speeds. So when you're actually changing speeds to go to a higher setting, what you're gonna notice is that as you pedal, 
the faster you're gonna go. And so I was able to reach 21.5 miles per hour. And so I did notice that when I was actually going downhills, I was getting even higher speeds. And then I also did notice that I was able to go over different terrain without any problem. And when it came to actually going up hills, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. And so if you get this right now on Amazon, it's the number one new release of 2023. And that's because it has a starting range of $599, which when you add the additional coupon of $100 off in the checkout, you're actually gonna save a lot of money. And so the tires were 26 inches and the frame was actually made of aluminum material. And on the front wheel, there was a solid suspension so that if you ran into like bumps or hit any things in the road, you weren't gonna have any issues whatsoever. So like I said before, it was really fun to reach top speeds on here, no matter what terrain I was actually using. And so I did notice that, that I can go in sand, dirt, or anything to that extent. And it was pretty easy to accelerate, but just keep in mind when you go on the beach, you will have to use the solid part and not the soft part. And so if I had to summate the Aremo Monster 100 in a few words, I would definitely say that this is a powerful, fast bike with a versatile battery. And so I did like the fact that it can go on multiple terrains and you can switch out the batteries and the fact that it felt smooth even when I was just pedaling with the 21 gears from Shimano. But I did like the fact that I had five gears for the battery and I definitely felt like you can get a long distance. And so that's what kind of attracted me to this e-bike. And so another benefit is that it's going to only take three to four hours to fully charge. But let me know what you guys think about the Aremo Monster 100. I definitely think it's pretty cool. But follow me on social media and type I'm still here if you're still kicking it with me. But I'll get right back with you and I'll check you guys later. Okay, peace.